Since 1917, PDSA has been keeping people and their beloved pets together, treating the pets of people in need. As Britain endured the horrors and hardship of World War I, the slums of London's East End were filled with poverty, depression and despair. Many volunteered their help and one woman was struck by the unspeakable suffering faced by thousands of working animals, cats, dogs and rabbits. Her name was Maria Dickin and she started a movement that would change everything. I could see suffering animals all over the world and I thought this kind of thing can't go on. Somebody must do something about this. And then I've learned in life, if you want anything done, do it yourself. From a tiny cellar in Whitechapel, Maria's historic fight to improve the lives of pets had begun. With a few meagre possessions and a well-respected vet, she hung a sign that read, Bring your sick animals. Do not let them suffer. All animals treated. All treatment free. Within five years, seven dispensaries were opened across London, treating 70,000 cases a year. By the 1940s, PDSA had a presence in over 50 towns and cities across the land. Saving the lives of precious pets had become a UK-wide operation. During World War II, Maria crafted a unique awards programme to honour animals and recognise their contribution to the war effort. Today, PDSA runs the most prestigious animal awards programme in the world. PDSA touches the lives of more pet owners than any other animal charity and treats 5,300 sick and injured pets every single day. For 100 years, we have mended broken bones, stitched up wounds and kept hearts beating. One amazing woman's vision lives on today. Protecting, caring and saving the lives of UK pets. <laughs>